I once read a meme since we're talking about Batman. I'm hoping this lines up perfect when you do it. Lines up perfect music. Oh, I was wondering what you were saying. And then maybe that'll work. If it does, you gotta keep it then. Yeah, oh man, I gotta keep it. Gotta just, it. just, uh, I'm gonna work now. I'm gonna be like working extra hard, trying to edit it to make sure that it matches up. <laughs> You'll see how good my internal time clock is. I once, uh, I once read a meme uh, yeah. that uh, the Joe Rogan looks like a thug in Arkham in an Arkham game that yells, "It's the Batman." <laughs> He does. I ain't gonna lie. You know what? I'm not a Joe Rogan hater, like most people. Uh, but I think that that motherfucker is. Hey, I didn't even realize Littlefinger was in this. Oh yeah, Littlefinger's in this. Yeah, he's in Dark Knight. Very quick. Dark Knight Rises. Very short. We got Dark Knight Rises very on the short background. Appearance. Um, yeah, it's funny. It's very. Sh- it's, it's like sh- almost as short as Christina Ricci's uh, cameo in The Matrix: The uh, Revolutions. Like, why do we have to do this? Uh-oh. Hello, you beautiful nerds. Welcome to the Drunk Panthers <laughs> Podcast, sorry, where guess- we talk about <laughs> sci-fi, fantasy, horror, and all the popular art that we love. Also, <laughs> we do it drunk. Yeah! Um, I'm joined, as always, by my brother, Bill. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are y'all doing? How y'all doing? My name is Alex, and today, uh, well, you know, a couple weeks ago, the Batman was released in theaters. Uh, and today, we're still in Batman mood. We still got the Batman spirit. So we're going through every theatrically released Batman movie. Uh, I'm very excited to go through like all the Batman movies. I'm sorry. Wait, am I doing the? Am I doing the Darth Vader? Yeah, that's because that's the shit that they do. That's the same shit. It's the most stolen themes. Like the Batman. Oh, so that's one thing that I found since uh, oh, been all, since we've been off. I'm not talking about stuff. It's Robert Pattinson's Batman is a thief. He stole a theme song from Darth Vader. <laughs> it's funny that you say that because there's so many composer friends that I have. It was like John Williams stole everything that he ever did John from Williams. like older uh, composers. Yeah, that's different. That's different. That's different. That's well, it's just different. like, you know, uh, Michael, you know what? You know what? Let me, Michael let me, Giacchino steals from John Williams. John let, Williams me explain, let me explain that. Opera let me explain composers. that right there. There's only so many notes in the fucking... <laughs> spectrum of notes okay mm-hmm. there's so many yeah. notes in a chord so i understand what people say in that but you know what those people are those people who say oh john williams stole from so and so and so and so those people are super nerds <laughs> because if you're first of all if you're not 78 75 like mm. john williams is then mm. you shouldn't even know that he fucking <laughs> stole it from somebody so because you shouldn't even. I'm just saying. You're not hey, old enough to have even really seen those movies. Hey, you there's... nerdy motherfucker. You. <laughs> so first of all, you were sucking John Williams' dick so hard, you started <laughs> listening to shit that inspired John Williams, and then you ended up fucking finding out that he was stealing from other people. So you're weird. Yes. Uh-huh. So you're weird. You're weirder than John Williams. That's all I'm hey, saying. I mean, they're, they're they're I was maybe weirder than John Williams. Definitely smarter than me because I definitely didn't know that until like I listened to those old like. No, you just movies. didn't. Wa- yeah, he's like and you didn't go watch all the old movies in the in the world and then find out. <laughs> hey, I mean, just, I'm just, just saying those, those you, movies are just. Less you just popular found than Star somebody Wars. more nerdy than you. That's all but, it was, man. Anyway, look, y'all can listen. Don't you to get our, mad because there's people listen. out there nerdier than you. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm, just, I'm actually. I was I'm first happy of all, it was, about it. First of, all, first of all, it's a joke. It's a joke because you, you wouldn't let. I said they was nerdy, and then you was like, you know, hey, first of all, I I knew about it. I just didn't. I just didn't know about it until no, I, no, knew I, was, it. I, I I'm just trying to make sure you. Oh know. my god! We listen to our music theory podcast uh, next week. <laughs> this is film, but uh, this is film, baby. But today we're gonna be talking about all the bad bad movies. Basically, we're gonna go through all the movies in chronological order. And then at the end, we're going to talk about all of our favorites. We're going to count them down. We're going to list them. Worst to best. They're going to be be in a list. You guys heard the list. And then it matters. And then it's the list of that matters for all time. <laughs> Whatever we say at the end of, by the end of this fucking video, this is what it this, is. This God is what it, it is. And, and since we both have different lists, you're going to have to, you're going to have to. 
You're gonna have to kill. Fig- you have to kill someone, and, and mostly you're gonna have to kind of figure out my list. You're gonna have to figure out where they go, where they at, where are they, where are they? Because this is gonna be an homage to Mr. Sunday movies. <laughs> I might add a movie. God damn it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like let's start off with oop shit. Uh, let's start off with. with are we going first, chronologically? Yeah, we're going chronological hold order. On. Hold on, then I got to do this. Yeah, Batman sixty six. Uh, we all know about the Batman TV show uh, starring Adam West, but uh, Adam inexplicably West. they were so feeling themselves that they made a t- they, a movie. A feature-length movie, the same year that they came out with the yeah, TV you know, show. I gotta, I gotta be honest. I'm pretty positive that that's the first time that that happened in television history. Where that feels, yeah. Where a movie, I couldn't find anything disproving mm. this statement, <laughs> but I couldn't find anything proving this statement. <laughs> so we might be the first to <laughs> acknowledge this right. in, in history. But Batman television show might be the first television show i.e. Power Rangers i.e. I don't know mm. Scooby Doo yeah. to take it and become a cinematic force yeah it was it was they felt that it was doing so well on television <laughs> we're gonna take this cockamamie fucking story and put it on the silver screen yeah and it it worked I mean, like uh, obviously the TV show. I mean, well, I mean, well, well, they they made it. The TV (laughs) show, the TV show, uh, you know, was incredible success. Uh, I've talked so much about the TV show and the movie on uh, my Blank Man video, Uh, but I couldn't find any box office on Batman sixty six. They, but um, I think that I mean, I'm assuming it did well because the TV show was like a huge hit. Uh, Uh, Kit. All of the stars were in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't have Eartha Kit because no. like she didn't come in until later. But that's the, the, yeah, she's obviously the, the MV, like the best Catwoman from that, oh, this, oh, that show. Hi. Um, what did you think of this movie? Did you uh, like? What, oh no, no! Think? Look, I remember watching this movie as a child, and, and I remember thinking, "This sucks." <laughs> I mean, this is not. Like it was right when uh so like even the, the the movie is way more silly than the TV show. Yeah, it, it that's, the so movie that's goes why for it. Yeah. That, yeah, so that's why I didn't like the movie. Um, this movie, spoiler alert, gonna go at the bottom of my list. <laughs> but it is also spoiler alert, fighting for last on my list with another movie in this list. But we'll get to that later. So, uh, I mean, like I said, I felt it was too funny, too silly. Mm-hmm. No, um, yeah. Too many Robin jokes. A lot of, you know, fucking G. Williker, Gaji's Batman mm-hmm. and shit right. like that. Like, mm-hmm. it was too much of that. Right. They played on every trope that they had from the TV show and tried to push it forward. Mm-hmm. And as you mentioned before, off pod, Joker ain't, Joker ain't going to shave his face. <laughs> yeah, the Joker, nigga who played the Joker Caesar will Romero not shave his face. Refused to shave off his mustache, so they had to paint over it. <laughs> Just put more on it. <laughs> that's, what, that's what somebody said. Somebody uh, kept saying that. Somebody was saying that. Christopher Dolan, somebody. Just put some more on, put put some on. More on there. I said Christopher Dolan. Christopher Dolan, when he was three years old, he was just saying, put more on there. Put Sorry. We got there. the Dark Knight Rises playing right now in the background, and I'm just confused. You know, apparently Matt Rees, his inspiration for uh, the reason he wanted to have Penguin, Riddler, Catwoman, and uh, Joker all in one movie is because that's what happened in the Batman 66 movie. <laughs> I don't believe there's nothing that this nigga say, Alex. I'm trying to tell you. I don't believe nothing hey, he say. What, that's just what I heard. I feel, look, there has he been so much and... shit that keeps coming out about this fucking movie. And like, <laughs> oh, Robert Pattinson's favorite character is Condiment Man. Get the fuck out of here. I don't believe that at all. If Robert Pattinson knew who Condiment Man was, I will fucking like... Drink all the condiments. <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, I love this movie. <laughs> I think it is hilarious. Uh, like it's the only like Batman comedy because they obviously like made it 
purposefully for it to be funny. Uh, and yeah, I just think it's it's like the TV show, but it's even more silly, which I actually really like. Uh, and it gives me the same joy as like, or even more joy than Batman and Robin, because I, I like to hate watch Batman and Robin because it's so fucking terrible. But like this, these these guys are actually trying to make this movie really funny. Uh, like my favorites. Oh, you think <laughs> that they favorites? weren't trying to make Batman and Robin really funny? You uh, think well, that? Do you think that those? Well, the, I, I'm just saying. Well, you think that those Mister Freeze jokes was on accident? Well. <laughs> that's that's the, the that's the thing. The the freeze like, jokes was, were hilarious. Well, I'm just saying. That I'm just I'm we'll just get, asking we'll you a question. Yeah, well, I I think that the biggest problem with the Batman Robin in a whole in the whole because he probably could have made a good Batman comedy live action because like I do like again I do like this one but it's, it existed in the same continuity and the same world as the Tim Burton when we Michael get to Keaton that movies. one when we get so to that one like, I'm gonna tell you why when we get to that movie I'm gonna tell you exactly why that doesn't work and okay. why comedy with Batman doesn't work except for in the 60s when everybody's doing fucking drugs <laughs> okay so let's just go on get, oh, you know? maybe, maybe that's why I enjoy this movie so much because I'm usually very high when I watch it everybody but, uh, on the, everybody that you're watching was high <laughs> fucking Adam West was loaded on Quaaludes <laughs> while he was filming that show you and know, that funny, movie fun fact Adam West was Adam asked West. to be uh, offered the West. role of James Bond before Sean Connery but he turned it down because he thought that James Bond should be British, but uh, then they but cast they Scottish. They cast, yeah, well, <laughs> it shows what he knows. <laughs> I think uh, James Bond should be British, and I am going to play a man and a cow. <laughs> that would have been crazy. Can you think of that? Like they wouldn't like have if let it happen. Back it wouldn't have happened. Adam none, of, none of them would have. Could, they, look at look at Blue Steel and uh, Pierce Brosnan. Uh, uh, Remington Steel excuse me mm. I said Blue Steel fuck you <laughs> fuck <laughs> Zoolander Zoolander um, Remington Steel mm. Pierce Brosnan mm. 007 Pierce Brosnan was supposed to play 007 15 years before he ended up playing him or 10 years before he ended up playing mm. him but they wouldn't allow him because he was on television playing a character who was right. similar in well, I think- this I'm just saying they wouldn't have allowed Adam West to do both. Right. I think that he so, got offered I'm, James Bond before Batman. Right. That's what sh- I'm saying. So I'm saying he wouldn't have been able to be Batman. Right. And so we wouldn't James, have gotten right. Batman. <clears throat> yeah. I'm just so we like, would have not yeah. gotten this iconic t- television show that yeah. we have now. Right. If it's, he had played. Yeah. It's very, it's very interesting. It's just very interesting. And we probably about. wouldn't know who the bodybuilder, uh, what's his name? Uh, um, you just said his name. Uh, James Bond, Sean Connery. Sean Connery. He was a bodybuilder before he was. Uh, oh yeah, that's before right. Before he was uh, James Bond, so mm. we probably wouldn't even know who he is. It had Adam West took the that's job. True. What if What if Sean Connery was Batman <laughs> hey, and Adam Robin. West was James Bond? Robin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that'd be weird. This is a perfect time for us to do our one of our. Crazy segues <laughs> yeah. into the next. Speaking, <laughs> yeah, speaking of Scottish Batman, <laughs> uh, next up on the list is Batman '89. Yeah, uh, had a domestic of two hundred. There was a Scottish person in there, right? <laughs> By blood. <laughs> Uh yeah, they made uh four hundred and forty sorry, four hundred and eleven million dollars worldwide. Uh how did you like this one? How do you uh, how do you how do you like this one? Four hundred and eleven million dollars worldwide? Mm-hmm. Nigga, that's like eight that's like a <laughs> billion dollars right now. Yeah, no, it's it yeah, made a uh, made a lot. Uh it's crazy. Actually let me double check because I wanna make sure that that's opening weekend or <coughs> Gross oh, I think it's gross time. <laughs> <All time. laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> hey, shout out to y'all. Hey, I think it's all time. Yes, that's all time. First of all, while he's looking that up, I want to ask you guys: Should we do a Pee Wee Herman episode? <laughs> you know, I I, I I I do a pretty good Pee Wee Herman. You know, I, I'm not doing it right now. I'm just telling you, <laughs> I do a pretty I'm good Pee Wee Herman. Do. Yeah. Um, uh, my voice you, is gone. You, my voice. I lost my voice the other day, so it's just now gotten back to like podcasts. Uh, podcast uh, normal. Yeah, speaking normal. 
Uh, I'll bring the accents back. I mean, the impersonations back next week, Mm y'all. But yeah, uh, how do you how do you like this one looking back? Uh, Still one of your favorites? Yeah, man. I watched it the other day. I mean, we technically watched it the last podcast. Oh Um, yeah, 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 in the background, yeah. It's in my top tops, but I just it makes my top ten. You know, I'm not gonna spoil nothing. It makes my top ten. Mm. But man, it really upsets me. Whatever happened to Vicky Vale? This character created for us yeah. in this fictional fucking universe of Batman, mm. revamped for this new age and then going into the nineties. Mm-hmm. Right, we're going up. Mm, new edgy Batman. Mm. Whatever happened to Vicky Vale? Yeah, I don't know. I they mean, just kind of got to to. There's not an excuse though. We lost the director. Duh, duh, duh. Like mm. they got two movies. Yeah, yeah. They they had like a one line uh, explanation of her in Batman Returns. Oh yeah. Yeah, like our what Alfred is like, whatever happened to, to Vicky Miss Vale? Vale. <laughs> I was what like, a- you've never been, or you've never been the same since Vale, Miss Vale, like left yeah. for Columbia or whatever the fuck. I like, don't. Know, I, I can't oh, remember exactly. You haven't, you haven't busted a nut since Miss <laughs> Vale left for Columbia. <laughs> it's like, well, you know, the studio wanted. Michelle Pfeiffer instead of Kim Basinger, so yeah. now here we are. Michelle Pfeiffer, <laughs> fucking way finer than Kim Basinger. Yeah, they definitely made the I right choice. Lie. We get to Batman Returns, I can't Whoa! wait. Whoa! But uh, but yeah, Batman eighty nine. I yeah, I still really 89, like this. Eighty nine. I still really like this one. Uh, it's just it it it's pretty goofy. Uh, still, uh, uh, there's like there's a lot of silly stuff about it. Fucking, but, uh, terrible fucking like fight scenes. Yeah. If we're gonna compare fight scenes to like anything, I mean, like, <laughs> I feel like I could see a fight yeah. scene on Sesame Street better than what is in this <laughs> show. I mean, in this movie. Yeah, the fight scenes aren't great, uh, especially you know because Batman is so stilted, like his from well, his head to his torso. And explain can't why they really have any movement. Well, I mean, it's like it's just the way that the the bat suit is. I'm built. just saying, explain for the young listeners right. why you know, like, hey. So yeah. if you were born before nineteen, I mean, born after nineteen eighty nine, Michael Keaton couldn't move in that suit. Yeah. As a matter of fact, if you go watch it right now, there's a scene where he looks up <laughs> at somebody up at the top. Like I think it was Joker. He like looks up at him. Yeah, and yeah. his whole chest has to go up. His whole yeah. back and yeah. body has to move up and look up into the air because he can't turn his neck. Yeah, he is. He's. It's very. It's like looking back. It's comical how limited his mobility was, and like you know, he, and to watch him like run off, like when he, the scenes where he has to like look right. and then take off, take off, going in a different direction. Like, oh man, don't show Batman doing anything other than punching somebody. <laughs> Don't yes. ever show us, because I know we're getting in too soon, too soon. But Robert Pattinson is knock deed. This nigga has got bow, he bow legged. He must ride horses too much or something. He got one of them family ride horses. Because I was watching him walk during the Batman. I'm like, Bat- Batman is bow legged. <laughs> do you think is do you think is Robert Pattinson or is stuntman is bow legged? No, do you think they had to get a? They had Wait a minute! To get First a, of all, you think Robert Pattinson got a walking stunt double? <laughs> God <laughs> damn, nigga! You got to cut this nigga's paycheck if he getting if he won't walk in the suit. <laughs> I guess I don't know. I guess it depends. No, I'm talking about walking. He was walking into right. the mayor's. Oh, oh, okay. I, okay. Bow legged. <laughs> Okay. Anytime he was walking bow legged. Anyway, we're going to. Uh, yeah. Michael Keaton at least wasn't bow legged. He just was. He's a very short man, running. Mm. Like looks <laughs> doesn't look very intimidating in 2022. Is all mm. I'm saying. Yeah, it's funny that you even say that uh, about Michael Keaton and not intimidating. Uh, because like it's when he was first cast, uh, he hadn't. You know, he wasn't a huge star. He was in like Mr. Mom and. Uh, I think this uh, a made for TV movie that's about that's alcoholism. That's, yeah, that's it. Uh, <laughs> he uh, was next to Ben Affleck in a fucking was, made for TV movie. <laughs> I mean, he was he was, he was ma- I'm just mainly saying Ben a, Affleck did a lot of those made for TV movies out here. In bro, so right. many, and just keep going, keep going. Uh, but yeah, he was a uh, he was mainly known as comedic actor. So a lot of people weren't down for this. He, I think there was like he Beetlejuice had, is the one you're forgetting. I th- oh, was did, was this Beetlejuice before this? No. Yeah, yeah, Beetlejuice was before this. Oh, okay. In the 86 is Beetlejuice. Oh, okay. 
but yeah, it's uh, which makes more sense because you know that's how he's Tim Burton's boy. Uh, they even yeah. there was like a, a half a million sp- uh, signatures for like a petition some people signed to get Michael Keaton off the movie, uh, which I guess started. Well, I guess it's the beginning of everybody being Do assholes about Batman being cast. people not know that Batman that doesn't actually work? <laughs> like, your petition to get a nigga fired from his job yeah, it's just like doesn't anger. actually do anything if they don't want to fire the nigga from his job. Yeah, it just shows the toxic fandom has been around since since the beginning. <laughs> In the beginning. <laughs> nerds were crazy. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Michael Keaton is, is a great Batman. He's a really great Bruce and Wayne. And he'll be in another Batman appearance in the Flash yeah, week if that back. ever comes out. Yeah, he's coming back. Uh, I, I, I feel like it is, I, I'm done. I'm done. Like they got a trailer for it now. I'm done pretending what? like or they had that that multiple. No, yeah, but DC you're forgetting. Trailer. You're forgetting that we saw that commercial in the theater. The trailer. For all the DC movies coming out in 2022. They just announced all those movies are coming out in 2023 now. So that's just the dumbest waste of fucking money that we've ever seen. <laughs> like, all yeah. those movies are coming out in 2023 now. Yeah. Aquaman, Flash, all that shit. Justice League movie, the Justice, right. whatever fucking movie. That's, yeah, that's just DC being DC. Hey, I told you I got no horse. faith. That's why I love the Batman, because I got no faith. <laughs> <laughs> they did good for somebody who was always fucking up. <laughs> a broke clock can be right twice a day. I ain't got no more idioms for y'all. Man. <laughs> <laughs> that was my last one. So um, uh, that leads us into Batman Returns. Hey, uh, Tim hey. Burton gets a second bite at the apple, uh, pl- uh, doing the ba- <laughs> doing another Batman movie. Did that sound uh, like this this is bat- <laughs> <laughs> uh, this Batman movie is like obviously a lot darker. Uh, to I, its, see, people say that one's darker. I don't think it's darker. I just think it's weird. Yeah, it's just weirder. It's just more Tim Burton. I mean, now in nineteen ninety, what three, two, whatever. Mm. Of course, it was dark, quote unquote, darker. Right. But it's just weird. It's just doing shit and saying shit that people say in person, but don't say in TV and movies yet at that moment. Mm. Especially not in a television, not in a kids movie, right? Or what's yeah. perceived to be a kids movie. Yeah, and they because had like, comic books have not been kids comic like comic books haven't been made specifically for children since nineteen since what Frank Miller, you know, like right nineteen eighty something. Yeah, there, there's there's yeah, they're uh, made for adults. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, they're not yeah, they're, they're not they're, strictly they're, made for kids, right? Yeah, they're so. yeah, yeah. There's a uh, there's that's why graphic novels even exist is uh, for like a more uh, adult audience. Uh, right. And I think this was really trying to tap it's into... It's just a book at this point, right? When right. you say that, like it's not... Like comic books are not made for children. Mm. They're just books made for people to consume. So they right. might have yeah. curse words in it. It might have it, a sex scene in it. It might have, you know... Right. It could be anything in a... In, there's no rating mm. system on books, though. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, so... Yeah, after the... Yeah, after, like, the Comic Code Authority wasn't, like, a thing anymore, uh, it, it became... Uh, the, all the stories became more elevated, and all the Comic stories ended up becoming girl. more this nigga uh, mature. Real dirty shit on y'all. Oh yeah, baby, I'm I'm a nerd. <laughs> uh, yeah, like yeah, was like all the stories got become became a lot more elevated. I think it was like around the mid seventies uh, when uh, uh, you have art artists like uh, fucking I can damn I can't think of any of their names time, right now. Take your time. Uh, but anyway, in the, around like the mid seventy uh, mid seventies, uh, Batman gets a lot more popular. Uh, and a lot more darker in the comic books. Uh, and this movie is obviously, or these movies are obviously trying to like tap into that. And I agree that it's not like darker per se, quote unquote. It's just weirder. Weird. And it's shot a lot better. Like it's noticeably <coughs> like a lot cleaner. It's a lot cooler composition. Well, technology just changed. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's true. It's going from the 80s to better. the 90s. Yeah. yeah, technology just got better. Um,. Also, I just want to say Christian Bale only had a beard or a goatee in uh, in Dark Knight Rises because he was lazy. He's lazy. What? He's, he's, he's <laughs> Why lazy. are we talking about I'm the just Dark saying, Knight Rises right now? I'm just saying. I'm just uh, saying. I'm just, I won't get a chance to say it later because it's not going to be <laughs> at that part in the movie yet. So I'm just saying it now. It's playing. I see him. He's lazy. That's so, all I'm saying. So uh, it's documented. It's lazy. <laughs> 
Uh, what did you think of Michelle Pfeiffer in this movie? You mentioned she was before. perfect. <laughs> yeah, her performance Actually, I mean, her underrated. performance was fine. The way they wrote her was stupid. The bitch falls into a goddamn dumpster oh, yeah, just- and she becomes a cat. Well, that's about the dumbest <laughs> shit I've ever heard in my goddamn life. I mean, yeah, all this is all everything <coughs> about this movie is very, very silly. <coughs> the uh, only person who had a sensible fucking origin story, origin story is the fucking penguin, and he still has a pretty fucking wild origin story. <laughs> I mean, it's fucking yeah, all his, over. The his place. origin story is actually really, and this is like where the darkness really comes in because it's in the first on the it's, opening scene okay. of the movie. Mm-hmm. You know, these parents. Uh, shout out to Pee Wee Herman. You did a Pee Wee Herman impersonation earlier. Uh, Pee Wee Herman and his wife, they have this deformed kid that's eating cats. <laughs> so they decide they're going to throw it in a lake and well, drown it. First of it. all, clearly uh, they're not feeding this child. I mean, that's the one thing that's missed in this whole thing. Clearly they're not feeding this child. Yeah, I, another aspect of the darkness of this movie. <laughs> why, is your, why is your son turned to eating the cat? Who is this, Alf? <laughs> <coughs> that was one tasty cat. I'm oh, sorry. That was. A t- I told y'all my voice is not back. Y'all know I can do Alf. You? Oh man, I can't do it right now because my voice is gone. No one's, no one's asking I for an Alf impression. Alf. We're, we will get by without He's eating your cats. Alf you asked for it. You asked for it because you said eating cats. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, he uh, had the but, most normal. I mean, like, there's people who were actually born with the. Um, condition where your hands are mm. like grown into fins, mm. um, like people or fin like shapes, right? Like where the I just want, I'm trying to be respectful like, to mm. all of our people who are deal with those things, mm. you know. So there's so it was based in fact, and I don't think that that's dark. I think that that's just true. You know, it just like speaks to a trueness of life. Mm. You know, life is filled with both good and bad. So I think yeah. it was, but I, th- but, but in that time period, mm. people were all consuming nothing but good. It was just good, good. It, if you couldn't even be on television that, at the time for with kids, right. if it wasn't positive, positive. That's why you have the GI Joes like Ronald Reagan issued that that you had to say something positive at the end of any of these kids TV right. shows. Mm. That's why knowledge is power and goddamn <laughs> the fucking right. No, I, I think the, so like I'm the, just saying it was a time period where we were specifically going through where it was extremely conservative and people weren't used to even seeing which is why Tim Tim Burton is even famous today. That's true. Uh and I think that the darkness more of that storyline is that just they've just tried to kill a baby more than anything. I mean they <laughs> like, abandoned a baby. Oh, they were not expecting it to live. <laughs> like you'll throw they a baby. They abandoned a baby. They threw it in a river. Everybody does that, man. <laughs> <laughs> Who hasn't thrown a baby in a river? Look, man, it's not the times, in man. The <laughs> it's not the times, man. It's just, it's just human nature, man. People leave speaking, a baby somewhere all the time, yo, man. Speaking of Batman in winter, and I'm gonna use this as like a sort of a segue. Uh, I don't actually, know. no. Actually, I can't use this segue because yeah, our next it. movie isn't in winter. But I'm just gonna say this: we need more Batman. Oh, I need another Batman movie during winter because Batman in the snow looks so fucking cool. You don't like Robert Pattinson? That's what it is. What? I love Robert Pattinson. No, I know you don't like him because you want this nigga freezing his ass off. <laughs> Yo, Listen, I want him. I want him to. I want him I to feel comfortable you. because no, I heard apparently you. it's like 120 degrees. That don't that don't make that don't change. See, you, <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll probably be a lot cooler, you know. You, let me tell you something. This, hey, Bobby, I'm looking out for you, Bobby. Rob. You listening? I'm looking out for you, Rob. Don't get him to Bobby. build. Don't get him to build a fan in the suit. Get him Bobby. to shoot it in the winter. Put Bobby, you in the snow. Are you listening to me, Bobby? <laughs> Bobby Batman. Do not listen to this nigga right here. Okay. <laughs> do not do a movie in the snow. <laughs> Refuse to do the movie if they tell you to do it in the snow. Actually, don't do that because they will get another nigga. Let me tell you something. <laughs> also, they, who they, shoots <laughs> in real snow anymore? They're just gonna get fake snow. They use like nigga, thousands of pounds of salt for this the shiny. Nigga Matt, this nigga Matt, crazy. <laughs> he had it raining the whole goddamn movie, bro. He but don't. He don't like actors. Apparently, a lot of this, most of the CGI in the movie was the rain. I just yeah, I heard. but. There was still rain. There was still, you know, yeah, there, there was, was definitely still a lot of rain scenes. Like there's nah, scenes, scenes where people were drenched. Exactly, sure. bro. He don't like uh, actors either. He's a George <laughs> Lucas ass motherfucker. He don't give a fuck about actors. He's like, throw him in some fire. <laughs> Make him walk real slow. 
<laughs> but I just like that aesthetic. Like in Arkham Origins and uh, the video game and also in this movie. Yeah, like, Arkham I Origins. Really like, I just really mm-hmm. like the aesthetic of Yeah, you don't remember Batman, about the video so. game, huh? What? This motherfucker Matt Reeves stole the whole goddamn aesthetic from this for this movie from Arkham the video game. Oh. I just I don't know if anybody's heard the not podcast this movie because we're not talking about it. Yet, I know. But. I'm just saying. I said that movie. <laughs> yeah. I said Matt Reeves. Uh, I said Matt Reeves. But yeah. But yeah. We should go on to the next movie. Uh. But Batman: Mask of the Phantasm. Mask next of the Phantasm. Uh, it's a continuation of the Batman animated series. Uh, this, this actually started. This actually came out like the second season after. Uh, yeah it was still it was pretty like in, yeah. yeah it was still a hot show when mm-hmm. this came out and then it came out on VHS for all you uh, youngsters <laughs> it came out on VHS and it also had a television premiere uh, in which but it also had a theatrical release on it, Christmas and, Day and that is a fact but that was after its television release which is very weird hmm uh yeah uh yeah that's a fact that's a fact <laughs> Uh, it bombed at the box office because it was a bad movie. <laughs> uh, well, uh, yeah, like so you didn't like you didn't like this movie. Uh, it's terrible, but you liked the animated series. Uh, what was it about this movie that you didn't care for? So if you watch this movie, there it it actually messes up continuity with the television series. If you you have to like try to figure out when this took place, mm. like. Because if you really watch it, there's parts of it that you could say you could say that it happened before he was. You could say this is like year one of Batman, mm-hmm. but at the same time, like why does he have all these gadgets? Why does he have so much shit? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They tried to do like a year one story that doesn't actually line up with a year one story. After they've already shown us basically a year one story of him, or what we feel like is a year one story mm-hmm. of him as an animated series, because we had never gotten anything like that before. Right. So the juxtaposition of it was just too much for me. And even watching it as an adult, it's just still, <coughs> excuse me, it's just still bogged down in Bruce Wayne's story mm. and not enough Batman. Mm. Okay. I mean, fair enough. as the viewers slash listeners know, I fucking hate romance in movies. Mm. It's stupid because for the most part, that shit doesn't exist in real life. Mm-mm. There aren't moments where you just sit and stare into another's eyes or where mm. a motherfucker just knocks on your door and you answer the door and he sells you a whole bunch of shit. And then you go, I love you. And then, you know, y'all love each other. No, most of the time you knock, no motherfucker knocks on your door. You scream at him. You tell him, go away, Mm-mm. go away. Mm-mm. I'm calling the police. <laughs> <laughs> I did not tell you to come over here. So I hate it when I see romance in movies like it, that's overly done mm. and overly emphasized because it doesn't actually move a story along. Right. I mean, well, that's that's most movies. I didn't say but, that. Yeah. I, uh, I, but I, you're I, right. And best romance in a movie. Everybody. Best romance in a movie. Best romance in a movie. By the way. Um, what's that? What's that movie with the aliens and and Jeremy Renner and Arrival? Oh, yeah, that was really good. Best romance in the that movie. That was a really good. That was a really good romance. It's a, that's like a that romance. A really sweet story. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to that. So yeah, that anyway. was a really sweet story. Just, but that uh, was. That, I only mentioned that movie just to point out what I'm talking about. Like, right? How bad this movie? They made a romantic cartoon. Mm. So anyway. yeah, I mean, I don't. <laughs> I mean, you say it like it's a bad word. Uh, I don't feel like it's like. I mean, most. I mean, every everyone like wants to find a significant other so i think that that's why it's so easy for people to write that as a motivation uh and i think that's why you end up seeing it in the movies all the time lazy but uh <laughs> uh but i i really like this one it's 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 i watched it uh recently like i watched it like a couple <laughs> months ago uh and it's not as great as i had remembered uh, oh, just because like say. Well, just because like the pacing is a little slow, I still really love. I still love the story, and I like how it's basically Batman the begins is slow before... because of, because of the romance part, though. But yeah, but I mean, let's continue. Uh, but yeah, like it's like uh, is I feel like it's more like Batman begins. I just like jumps back and forth between his origin story and the romance uh, story. Oh no, sorry, the romance is like sort of his origin uh, mm. story, and how it just like sort of intersects with this. 
uh, mystery. I feel like it's a really good use of the Joker. Like, I feel like Mark Hamill's fucking has got a great performance in this. Uh, First of all, you showed me something Mark Hamill's not good in. The Flash. When he plays Toy Man. <laughs> He's uh, the flat, the, yeah, the show? 70s TV show, yeah. <laughs> the 70s TV show. Yeah. Yeah, you should check that. it out. I gotta see that. First of all, first of all, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, it's not him. It's them. I mean, well, yeah, it's it's he's great. That's but, what I said. But, so what? Is, I said, show me something he's not great in. I didn't say show me something <laughs> that's not great because you could say the Last Jedi, nigga. <laughs> Oh that, yeah, I guess that would have been easy that. to do. I you, forgot he was in that movie. You just say he was, <laughs> you just say the last Jedi. Okay, boom, to Trump. Man. I'm Trump. I can't. Uh, I'm so. Yeah, I'm not looking bad. forward well, to watching we, that. We, movie first of all, I don't but, think there's a. There might not be an episode that we have not talked about Mark Hamill. On yeah, this probably not. Show. Mark Hamill's. And we don't even be, <laughs> <laughs> look, nigga. We're not even. We're talking about fucking mind. Batman. We're not talking about <laughs> fucking Star Wars. <laughs> uh, a uh, lot of well, you know. I, anyway, no, 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 no. But, uh, we, but we yeah, talked about Mark Hamill for forty five minutes. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, hold on a second. Actually, <laughs> we gotta have mind. a Mark Hamill episode. <laughs> uh, but no, yeah, I, I, I love this movie. Uh, I love remember the use that of cartoon the Mark Hamill was. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, yeah, I love the use of Phantasm. I loved the 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 voice actress. I can't remember her name, but she's like a uh, fucking OG great voice actress. Been in a bunch of shit, and I think she does a great job. Uh, blossom. I think this is kind no, of a crime I'm that joking. we never I'm, really I said blossom. I was, I was joking. <laughs> uh, I really, and I, I feel like if you made this story into a live action and you cut out uh, a lot of like the origin, Grace under and fire, made the no, I'm the uh, made the pacing a little bit faster. It would be like a really, it'd be a good movie. It'd be a really good like live action mystery. Like, yeah, you know, you I could took a lot of the romance the, out, cut down the romance, add more. Batman mm-hmm. and take out less I mean take out more um, of the Bruce yeah I agree with you it would have been a good movie yeah I feel like not it's... a good movie uh, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of not a good movie no I'm joking um, uh, well next up on the list yeah it's not oh speaking of not it is, uh, yeah movie. it's it's, <laughs> it's it's when things start to get weird with Batman uh, Batman <laughs> forever it's like when some when your girl you Kissing a girl, y'all know how you be kissing a girl, man. When ladies, y'all know how you be kissing a girl, and then all of a sudden she grab your booty, and you think, okay, that's a little weird, but you know, that's okay though, because I'm I'm over here kissing this girl, and then she put a finger close to your booty hole, and then whoa, that's a moment where you either go, well, that was a little weird, but it's not it's- yet, it's not yet abrasive. But it's this, a little I weird. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and that brings us to this next movie. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Batman Forever. It is. Oh, my God. Man, it's the first Schumacher, uh, first of the films that were directed by Joel Schumacher. Fucking Joel, Joel Schumacher, by the way, an incredible director. I am a very incredible director, Alex. And I tell you right now, I am. <laughs> No, uh, he directed uh, Joel Schumacher. What accident is that? Joel Schumacher. Do you go listen to that Joel Schumacher? That sounds like I've never he do seen not it. know where he's from. He's got the everywhere yeah. with accent. Is I thought crazy. he was just. Oh, okay. Uh, it's bad he, accent. <laughs> he has a bad accent. Go listen to him. I challenge anybody. Right. Challenge anybody. Go listen to him. <laughs> Fucking bad accent. Uh, but yeah, he directed a num- the number 23, which is a great movie. A Time to Kill, which is an incredible movie. What? Yeah, they were, yeah they were deserve to die, and I hope they burn in hell. <laughs> I love that movie. It's so sad. What's the first movie you said? Uh, number twenty three with uh, Jim Jim Carrey. I thought it was good. I might I, I watched it when I was like twenty, so I Look. might not think it's so good. Yeah, he's like he might think it's stupid today. <laughs> but Look. he's obviously a very competent director and like has a style that's not really like this. But what you're forgetting is that those. Movies that you just named, he was restricted by the production. Like he, somebody else was producing those movies. He was basically the producer for these movies, as well as the director for these movies. So he had all of the control, mm. <laughs> which is why it got super extravagant. Yeah, it got pretty weird. Which. Focusing on the cod piece of Batman. 
focusing yeah. on the ass cheeks of Batman. <laughs> yeah, so like, adding nipples. Yeah, it's weird to so, Batman. I, Hold on, funny. I want to just point no, out no, the no, fact no. that Val Kilmer, <laughs> one of the most anticipated Batmans of all time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When not, I just want to let people understand. Like, put you back into that. Put you back into that mindset. When when that movie was coming out, when it was announced that Val Kilmer was going to be the next Batman, yeah, I think he's like the that only was person like, who that, hasn't had backlash about being cast as Batman, even though his movie was bad. Yeah, yeah, like it's because nobody blamed him. Mm. Everybody knew it's not your fault. It's not your fault because you Val motherfucking Kilmer, uh, right? Every- kill is in the name. Yeah, everybody else when they get there. No, I'm gonna like, do my Tony Baker impersonation right now. <laughs> what in the haberdashery and hemoglobin? What's going on with Batman Forever? <laughs> yeah, Batman Forever is like very, very strange. I feel like the that this movie is still it's just dipping its toe into the strangers. Batman and Robin gets really, really weird because like like the things that you mentioned, uh, like we get like the butt close up but that's like not until the very end um and you right. get the nipples on the suit but not until the very end where he changes costumes uh but like in the in Batman and Robin it's just like they start out with that shit uh but they I say oh like, y'all like that last time oh y'all like that last time <laughs> like he heard the laughs in the theater wow, he's like we gotta yeah. hit you. I'm gonna hit you with it 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 at I least like- we got a bat girl in the goddamn uh Batman oh, and Robin movie so we can see a set up with some titties. Oh, like we man, at least got to see a woman drop. I mean, look, men, I mean, excuse me, women. I know there's women listening and I'm sorry. I'm just trying to keep it real. Like y'all got the little cod piece. I had to watch that. I'm a child. What am I supposed to be doing with that? What am I supposed to do with that as a child? <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was, uh, <laughs> oh, you know what? Also doesn't get, a, doesn't get any flack for those movies being bad. Chris O'Donnell. Uh, Chris O'Donnell yeah. was fairly he, he, like he was like on the rise at that time, mm. and that did not hurt his trajectory as an actor. For most actors, that would have killed their career. I feel you know what? I, it's funny that you say that because I feel like it kind of did kill his tra- trajectory because I don't feel like he did anything huge after that. Like, wow, can you name just, a yeah. like what uh, was the cliffhanger? Uh, there's like I could keep going on and on and on. Like he did a shit ton of movies after that. Okay, and he's on CSI Los Angeles right now. I mean, like yeah, he's he, on I'm CSI just, Los Angeles. I'm, all, now. all I'm saying is no. I'm saying you don't get you don't get. They don't call up old actors who haven't done anything in forever and say, "Hey, would you like to That's have?" Exactly the, what they get for all those shows. They don't. <laughs> they don't. First of all, they don't say, "Hey, you haven't done anything in forever." No, you have to have been doing something. LL Cool J is on those on that same show because he's been doing shit consistently for twenty mm-hmm. years. It ain't about it's it's about being consistent. If you, they don't, they do not call anyone who hasn't done anything. To do any show, that is just not how network television works. Because you have to be, you have to hit numbers, and you don't. How you gonna hit numbers if you haven't been doing anything? They don't. You know Hollywood is scared as fuck. They don't do that. That's just not how that goes. You right. just because but you haven't like, been watching the things that he's been doing doesn't mean that he hasn't nah, been doing that. All right, that's all I'm saying. All right, but uh, yeah, this movie is nuts. Uh, <laughs> I still still like a lot of things about it though. Uh, no. It's, the, I feel like Forever is only bad because Jim Carrey and Tommy, Tommy, Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones apparently hated each other. And Tommy Lee Jones, <laughs> I, I guess the director was giving a lot of love to Jim Carrey because of how he came prepared mm. and how he was just like, over the top he was bringing that kind of energy to the character that he needed to bring and Tommy Lee Jones kind of saw his character as a little bit more laid back like a little bit more real like a little bit more stoic Mm -hmm. and I guess Tommy Lee Jones didn't like how he was getting treated by the director I say I guess Mm -hmm. but I know I know because I've (laughs) I've heard the stories and read the stories and so yeah, they didn't like each other. And every, yeah. every single, apparently every chance that they got 
to where he where Tommy Lee Jones would over do something over the top mm. to try to outdo Jim Carrey. Those are the only scenes that they kept. There's yeah. <laughs> apparently there's a lot of things that went on the cutting room floor where there's just like where scenes very chill, where yeah. he's very chill, but Jim Carrey's doing his crazy shit. Mm-hmm. But Tommy Lee Jones kept getting angry that they would fucking keep asking him to do it over and over and over and over and over, mm-hmm. and so he would just be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like very Kubrickian. Why won't filmmaking. you just? <laughs> like, uh, yeah, this is, uh, and so it, that's the choices that the directors made, right? To keep those shots, right? And that's clearly what he what he wanted. Like, it's right. funny when actors right. get blamed for performances because, like, it's like, well, you know, the actor probably did this take a bunch of different times, and like the the director is this they're the ones who chose this take. So this is obviously the performance the one they, they wanted. wanted. Either he was trying know. to embarrass him. Which I don't think it was like from the set dressing and everything. Like you say, like, so I know I'm just saying. So you say, shit looks so fucking crazy. You think they were trying to make him look crazy, right? Yeah, like <laughs> obviously. <laughs> like I feel like yeah, everything looks so insane everywhere. This is obviously where he wanted the energy to be, and right. I feel like it kind of. It, I, I feel like it elevates the movie for like what it is because the movie is what it is it's it's insane i feel but like it would have feel- been a great movie had they been able to bring that down like they would have been able to bring a more stoic serious mm. nature to it especially how crazy flamboyant the mm. color and everything that's the first time we start seeing color in batman movies yeah like a lot of neon and yeah so I'm, I'm thinking like that is definitely uh would that definitely would have brought the tone down though yeah, it definitely would. It would have been, would, would, been interesting to see like Joel Schumacher make a movie that looks like a Time to Kill, uh, but was a Batman movie. Uh, but uh, this is obviously the kind of movie he wanted to make, and I feel like Jim Carrey was like there with him uh, for whatever reason. I don't know how like, how the, what the hiring process was, but I feel like Jim Carrey was right there with Joel Schumacher. And they like elevated the movie to this crazy level, and we we I feel like we slowly no, I think, got there. I think that Joel Schumacher had no fucking clue what he was doing. <laughs> Jim Carrey showed up. He was like, "Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's what we're doing." <laughs> well, I'm, and man, he, yeah, and man. they went in. Yeah, and I think that's what happened because no one else approached it that way. Right? There's I, literally no one. If you watch the movie, go rewatch the movie, people. And like and subscribe if you've been listening this long. I just want to say thank you, and we appreciate you, and <laughs> you are the shit. But also, go watch a goddamn movie. Nobody else acts crazy except those two, Jim Carrey and Tommy yeah, Lee and, Jones. And this is this is the first time I've, like, had, can you imagine, have you seen Tommy Lee Jones play anything other than just, like, stoic, like, mm. sort of funny dude? Because <laughs> this is the craziest we've ever seen him. Maybe he did cross-dressing one time or something. I don't know. No, I've never seen him not play a fucking straight man. Right. What are you talking about, Alex? like Agent K to me. The big, hey, big dog don't, the big dog don't oh, ever yeah. cry. Yeah, actually she that's who he now. is. Yeah, fucking uh, I'm the, big the dog. hound dog from a uh, fucking uh, U.S. Marshals. Fugitive. Usual, yeah. U.S. Yeah. Marshals. Yeah. Yeah. It's hey. funny that we both said different movies. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, this movie is, I, I, like Val Kilmer is a great Batman. Uh, I really like the fact that they delve into his psyche a little bit and uh, how at the end, uh, it's kind of like similar to, uh, we've been talking about Robert Pattinson's Batman this whole time, but it's kind of like similar to his arc in the Batman. Cause at the end, Val Kilmer has to choose to be Batman and Bruce Wayne. Uh, cause he's like, I am Batman and Bruce Wayne. Not Gay. because I have to, no, be. I'm just- <laughs> it's like, not because I have to be because I, but because I choose to be like, he makes that decision to be like, he's like, Why oh, you I have just to say be what he just said, man. Why did you say that? Because it's so much better written than anything I could have oh, said on the top man. of my head. <laughs> I hate that line. I hated it when I was a kid. Oh, I hate really? it now. I love it. I thought it was. Oh, I, think, I think it's great. Man, on that note, we gotta go to the next movie because <laughs> I'm like, well, uh, yeah. yeah, we gotta go because I gotta get these bad ones out of the way, man. It's leaving a bad taste in my mouth. We spent way too long on Batman Forever. <laughs> uh, Batman and Robin. Next Batman one and Robin. Whew. George Clooney is his first time uh, playing Batman. Motherf- it's his like first feature film, I think. 
Well, not his first. So, so I think it's his the first lead role. St- the Perfect Storm was his first like lead big movie. That's and not a lead role. That's a that's a that's a bunch of that's a what do you call it? I mean, it's an ensemble. But ensemble, was, yes. No, that was totally an ensemble. He, I understand it was an what you're ensemble, saying, but like it's like if he was the captain, is an ensemble, but if Bruce Willis is the lead of the movie, but right? Bruce Willis had more lines. I think I'm, I'm pretty positive. Basically. There's an equal amount of lines given out in. I'm just saying. But to be was, fair, there was no okay. hint. This is his first fair enough. lead role. Fair enough. And the only reason he got it to you to your point is because he died in the goddamn storm movie. Storm, yeah. storm movie. <laughs> and niggas was like, back then. Let me tell y'all something. Back then, females. I don't say bitches. I guess I just said it. <laughs> <laughs> but females, if you if they love the nigga in a movie and he died in a movie in like a tragic way, Ben Affleck. <laughs> Brian, they, Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. <laughs> they love that nigga forever. Yeah. Hard. <laughs> yeah, actually, yes. Yeah, somebody, Denzel. Somebody should He died in uh Glory. Yeah, yeah. Somebody should put that in their uh their like if you're an aspiring actor, put that in your playbook. When trying to tell you, hey, look, if you're movies, an aspiring yeah. actor or if you're a current actor, call me. <laughs> I know all the plays. I'm telling you, y'all just need to let me. Come on. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, just I, listen I, to I, the podcast. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, I know what I'm talking about. Uh, like, there two of my favorite people to hear talk about playing Batman are Robert Pattinson and George Clooney, and it's for two completely different reasons. Because Robert Pattinson creates stories to tell you. That's why. Oh, my God. I don't know why you think he's lying so much. I think all Uh, of them are lying, by the way, when they say they look Okay, well, this might be a lie from George Clooney, but... I really love it. (laughs) Because he always talks about, uh, you know, getting cast as Batman. He's like, how excited he was, and like, how, at that point in his his career, he's like, you know, when you're an actor, you're just kind of like taking roles, you know, but, uh, and who, of course, somebody calls you up and asks you if you want to be Batman, you're going to say yes, but I fucking, that movie was terrible. I was terrible in it. And if anybody comes up to me and says the movie was terrible, I'll pull out money my, out of my wallet and give them the money for the movie that they God damn, they I wasted. need to run in the, I need to bump into George Clooney more often. <laughs> right, get you his clean $7. Man, I watch that movie a lot. George Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that movie like four million times. <laughs> yeah, hey, George Clooney, I had to watch that movie in preparation for this podcast. George Clooney, you need to you you owe me some money, George Clooney. <laughs> and I'm drinking Casamigos right now, George Clooney. <laughs> Motherfucker, <laughs> George Clooney, you I'm owe drinking. me some money, George Clooney. <laughs> I, okay, Ileana, I struggle down. with this movie because like. Or how much I enjoy this movie because it's like I I I love watching it because it's terrible. Or I enjoy myself watching it because it's terrible, but it's so bad. Uh, like it's hard to just like say it's one of my favorite Batman movies, but it is still one of my favorite ones to watch. I don't know. I'm conflicted about this one, but I hate it. <laughs> you know? No, I I don't know because there's no conflict. I hate it. <laughs> That's right. You don't like to hate watch stuff like that. You don't nope. like to watch. watch <laughs> you nope. don't like to watch bad movies. First of all, I have in like as far as my memory and yours, I have a memory like goddamn elephant mm. allegedly. <laughs> it's like I like I can watch the movie one time and I'm good, mm. especially if it's bad. Right. For some reason, it sticks with me a lot longer if it's bad. Mm. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess maybe it just burns <laughs> into my brain. Just a, yeah. And when it's good, episode. when it's good, I'm just like, in, like I'm trying to capture all of it, and I can't really mm. consume all of it. You know, like Spider Man No Way Home. I really need to go see that again because like, I well, saw it out on. Uh, you can go buy it now. I saw it on. I saw it on uh, bootleg. Mm. I was trying to think of that word, <laughs> and then I watched it with you. Right, right. Because right. I had COVID. That's right. That's right. I forgot that you watched the bootleg, bootleg yeah. version. Yeah, that's right. Man, it was rough times. Hard anyway. times, Danny. <laughs> speaking hard of hard times. Speaking of hard times. Now, uh, there was th- a very long. Sorry, what were you about to say something? <laughs> no, you go on here now. I'm, I'm going to switch up into my dusty <laughs> rules. Now, I want to do, do one thing for, for the fans. 
I wanna do a dusty roll and puff a nation for the rest of the movie. <laughs> oh God, I hope. Gonna, please don't do that. We, see, death is what I'm talking about. We run up on hard times around here, daddy. But I'm gonna let him finish, I'm gonna let him finish, I'm gonna let him finish. <laughs> um, uh, speaking of hard times, uh, we went for a, a little while without having a Batman movie. It was, uh, uh, I think it was eight years between uh, Batman and Robin and Batman Begins, our next film. They kind of they kind of us out, baby. They kind of us <laughs> out, daddy. I'm trying to tell you. I think that this movie put such a weird stink on uh, Batman. And it was before, you know, the the comic book movie surge that we're in right now. Where it's like, Yo, you make a bad Batman movie one year? Make a good one next year. Let's give it another try. Uh, like, yeah, they had, they had decided that they was gonna stop taking them risks. They was they was done. <laughs> it was George Clooney's fault, and they said, "Hey, <laughs> hey, daddy, he's dead." But you know yeah. what happened? What happened? George next? Clooney's George Clooney's he puts out a movie. It's called Ocean's Eleven. Yeah, and he showed he can make some money. He showed it wasn't his fault, <laughs> and then he was right. out of hard times. Yeah, he was... Uh, and then what happened then, they was able to say, hey, maybe it's not Batman. <laughs> maybe it's not that man. <laughs> but maybe... And <laughs> Maybe daddy, maybe it's this director, maybe. <laughs> right. Which, is, like, I feel like any sane person would have been able to, to tell. I'm just going to ignore your <laughs> accent and the fact that you're still doing that. Hey, wh- uh, but what you talking I, about, daddy? Uh, but, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I yes, obviously uh, that movie was terrible because of that director. Yeah, uh, so terrible. they decided they go in a way different direction. Get Christopher Nolan, who directed Memento and Insomnia at this point, two really crazy. All they said was, "We're gonna go get a good director." Uh, yeah, good but director. They also, like a, I a guarantee dark you, director. I guarantee you, Karen fucking to you, mm-hmm. Christopher Nolan had a fucking Batman movie written already for like the last three, five, three <laughs> to five years before that. Right. He was like, "Oh, you, you want me to do Batman?" Yeah. <laughs> you know, I always wanted to do a Batman. You know, I, I actually, know. <laughs> back in high school, started writing this Batman. Like, that, I'm trying to tell y'all, that's mm-hmm. Christopher Nolan is a fucking super nerd. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't be surprised if Christopher Nolan is listening to this podcast right now. Right. He's that big of a nerd. Hey, look, I don't, I actually only listen to podcasts that only have less than, uh, 500 subscribers and that's what I do I I, uh, I I never subscribe but I listen to them and that's how I, that's how I get prepared for <laughs> new scripts <laughs> he just he steals ideas from podcasters <laughs> no, he just gets inspiration you don't steal he just gets, gets inspiration he's like yeah you know what I did want to do that back in high school <laughs> yeah I should go back to yes that. it's funny especially going back and watching uh, a lot of the these movies it feels more like Christopher Nolan is a really big James Bond fan, and maybe, and I feel like that that's why you have David Myers co-writing. I think two things can be true. Yeah, uh, and I feel like you know that's why you have David Myers, uh, comic book writer, and he wrote like comic. I think he wrote like two of the Blade movies. Uh, he's writing, uh, co-writing on all three of these movies because he he needs that like comic book anchor. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, but. Uh, I yeah, Batman Begins is like incredible. Like it's it was definitely surprising. I remember cutting class one day so, c- to go see Blade Trinity uh, because I, I heard that they were going to show the Batman Begins trailer during Blade Trinity, and then I went to Blade Trinity and they didn't show the fucking trailer for <laughs> Batman Begins, and I was upset throughout the rest of the movie. I fucking hated that movie. <laughs> <laughs> At least you got to see Jessica Biel. Yeah, fuck that movie. I hate that movie Man, forever now so because good. they promised Bad Bad Begins. She looked it did so good in that movie. <laughs> how do you how do you feel about this movie's like oh, in retrospect? Yeah, oh yeah, we're not talking about Blade. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Okay. Um what were we talking about? Blade Trinity. <laughs> no, oh, we no wait, no, we're not. <laughs> what the see, fuck? See, see. <laughs> you fucking bugs bunning me. <laughs> it's not rabbit season. Um yeah. no, we're talking about Batman Begins. How did you like it? I loved it. First of all, it revamped, brought it back. I remember telling you, no, this is it. Because you was like, 
no, they, Christopher, Christian Bale said he's never going to do it again because Christopher Nolan said he'll never do a sequel. He won't do sequel because he doesn't do sequels. And I was like, nigga, $30 million says that them niggas will do it. Yeah. And what happened? They offered him $30 million. They offered Christian Bale $30 million. He's like, I'm back. <laughs> then what happened in the second movie? They said, he put that hey I ain't doing it again Christian Bale said I'm not gonna play Batman again mm. I said shit <laughs> 50 million dollars says he'll be back to do the third one right yeah I feel and like- they offered him 50 million dollars which I think was the most money that any single movie an actor had gotten offered for at that time Right. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny. I actually wrote an article about this, and I don't remember how much he got paid. Uh, it's like cramming for a test, and then you forget it the next day. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's funny. This movie was great. I think it's still like the best script. Like I feel like the story for this is like my favorite out of the uh, the the Nolan trilogy. I actually I go back and forth about that. Uh, but I do feel like it's still like shot kind of not great compared to the next two movies like the fight scenes in particular are fucking terrible like they're so hard to look look at i remember watching like all these uh special features like me me you and our 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 friend adam uh, growing up we watched these all these special features behind the scenes of how they develop batman's fighting style and all this shit and they show like uh, clips of them shooting all these fight scenes, and then you show the they show the fight scenes in the movie. It's like super close up, like even worse than Bourne style, like super close up. You can't tell what's going on, uh, and I feel like maybe that's just like a, a testament to like this is like his third feature film, uh, so maybe he just wasn't really <clears throat> adept to fighting uh, showing. No, I think it's that yet no, time. But. I don't know. It's just doing what. First of all, you're. You're taking way too much power out of the studio's hand. Oh, it's it's the fact that that's what was popular at the time, mm. and that's what was being shown. People were watching Jason Bourne. This is what we're going to do. This is the style we're going to use. That's but, why you get that dope Robert Pattinson scene, him beating the shit out of them dudes walking through the hallway. Whew, man, the fight scenes. Yeah, let oh, when we get there, we'll talk about live and let die. <laughs> But uh, yeah, Sorry, next I movie just, on the list. I've been drinking, <laughs> and my voice is starting to come back. So, I was just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, next on the list, The Dark Knight, uh, iconic movie, mostly because of Heath Ledger's performance. Let's not let's not even lie. Let's not pretend. Uh, the most famous thing about this movie is Heath Ledger's incredible performance. Uh, but the story is not half bad either. The story is really really good. <laughs> It's really weird. I remember when this movie came out and people were like, it's an allegory for 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 Bush and like how he mm. had, like how he uh, mm. like like Batman is Bush. Mm. Uh, mm. And I was like, that's fucking stupid. No, mm. it's not. Hey, you know what? I and think then Christopher Nolan always... came out and said, yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm like, what? Word? Let me tell you something. <laughs> uh, but what did you think of this movie? Uh, Dark Knight thought it was amazing first of all Heath Ledger I knew it was going to be amazing when he got casted and not because he was like because of one movie and it ain't fucking broke back now A Knight's Tale oh he was good <laughs> nice to- it's his first uh, movie mm-hmm. I was like oh mm, I think uh, uh, 10 Things I Hate About You was before that wasn't it 10 Things I Hate About You no mm. pretty positive right. it's not Night's Tales first thing he did that with that dude. The, what's that British dude? The two British Paul dudes. Paul Vision, and uh, who else? Paul Vettney was in it, but there's the two f- chubby, the, oh, yeah. the chubby Alan, dude and the Alan other Tudyk, who's actually not British, but he does an incredible British accent. And who's the other guy that's British? The f- chubby dude who was in head of, uh, yeah, I forget, I forget that guy's name, but he was in like a, t- a sitcom where he played like a. Sh- yeah. Fred Flintstone, basically. Oh, yeah. actually, he was Fred Flintstone in like uh, one of the Flintstone he movies. He was Fred Flintstone. I think he's actually Scottish. But anyway, we're getting really nerdy yeah. in that. Yeah, right like, we're getting how we got linguistic, there. <laughs> linguistic nerdy now. But but anyway, well, yeah, Heath Ledger. Yeah, he Heath was Ledger. Great. I knew he was gonna when they casted him. I was like, oh, man, I'm trying to tell you something. This is gonna be the best Joker ever. Mm-hmm. And then he was. Yeah. Unfortunately, well, he's no longer with us. 
because of this damn movie, essentially, because he dipped back into his substance abuse. Yeah. But I tell you what, this motherfucker probably another example. Hey, this is an example of why we should do an Oscar uh podcast mm-hmm. because this movie should have gotten an Oscar. I think this movie shouldn't have got should have gotten an Oscar. Yeah, I think that this is when the discussion really started to get it heated up about um like this movie not getting nominated for Best Picture. Yeah, in the, like, pub- in the public. Because yeah. for me and you, diehards. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah. <laughs> I, even I'm only, just saying for me and you. Right. Lethal Weapon. <laughs> Lethal Weapon 1 should have got an Oscar. I'm just saying, 1986, that was a weak Oscar year. Lethal Weapon. Should have got Best Picture. Uh, oh, uh, anyway, go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, like. Yeah, I, I think this is, this is when like yeah, think things are getting ramped up about like because it, it, Heath You're Ledger did right. win the uh, post, uh, like yeah, he did win the uh, the Oscar after he passed away, uh, but yeah, the movie didn't get uh, nominated for best picture or best director, and like people were up in arms about it, uh, and that's when like people started talking about nominating superhero movies for oscars but it didn't really happen for i'm gonna tell you what y'all gonna make me write a whole goddamn piece about this because <laughs> back to the future should have had a fucking oscar i mean it's just <laughs> fuck how is it oh, oh. back to the future is one of the best scripts ever written so let's just go ba- let's i had a class like, about special back effects to the future. that fucking movie changed let's just keep going just, <laughs> just the script alone let's like just, let's, just, let's just keep going let's just let's, <laughs> I'm, we're gonna get bogged down and but yeah the greatness uh, of all these movies yeah the, uh this is the first Batman. We were talking about Batman not being able to move much in '89. This is the first movie where he could turn his head, and actually, they make actually, a big point to no Batman Begins. He could turn his head. No, he couldn't. They make a big point in this movie to say, "Hey, I need to make. I need you to make me a costume where I can turn my head." It did have more mobility than the '89 uh, costume, but it's like I need to be able to do this. And this is uh, this is when you know costume designers had the incredible idea of just like. You know, making uh, all the bat, making the armor into pieces, basically. Uh, and I kind of like you know the stormtrooper costume, where it's like a, a like a skin suit on top, or it's Kevlar skin suit or whatever, and then just like pieces added on top. Uh, which is why I think this is my favorite Batman costume. Mm. I don't know, it might no, be my favorite weird. on on screen. Batman Roberts costume. was my favorite, only because. Oh, really? Only because he could. Uh, they didn't go through. They 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 showed you he could do. I'll explain later. Keep going. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, no, no. They showed you that he could that he could do all the things that the that Christian Bale's did mm. without having Lucius Fox explain every goddamn thing. <laughs> right. Like I don't need you to tell me that he can withstand fucking falling from a goddamn building. <laughs> right. Throw the nigga off the building. <laughs> I did appreciate. <laughs> Uh, I didn't appreciate the vulnerability of this the suit in this one because they did it like you know, again Lucius Fox Lucius Fox doing you know uh, explaining the plot. Uh, he was explaining that there's you know gaps in the armor and when you have Morgan Freeman, what else are you going to do? <laughs> you yeah, have I'm... to have him explain some stuff. <laughs> explain stuff and be a little funny. Be cheeky. I'm not going to use try to do my Morgan Freeman until we get. To <laughs> uh, well, I guess I already passed that up, Andy. <laughs> really really interesting movie like it tackles a lot of different themes uh and whether people were aware of like the different uh the the themes that the filmmakers intended uh it's it still obviously struck a spark i mean struck a chord with a, a lot of uh audience members because everybody fucking loved this movie and everybody watched it twice <laughs> it was crazy <laughs> yeah yeah, that, that, that's that's when you know shit's good. It's like the thriller. It's like thriller coming out. You buy the tape twice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Except it was different for thriller because people somebody that meant somebody stole your tape, <laughs> right? And then you had to go buy another, <laughs> or you wore your you, first one out, and then you wore your first. Then you no, you wore your second one out because somebody <laughs> stole the first one. <laughs> uh, Sorry, I was just showing my age. I guess. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No. This nigga's talking about pop the tape. <laughs> what is he talking about? Somebody's like, googling pop heard the tape, tape right now. Somebody's <laughs> googling. Is that a drug? What was that? Um, but 
Um, unfortunately, uh, Heath Ledger's death does have, I mean, obviously, you know, it's a tragedy. Uh, but beyond that, it has technical issues with uh, regarding the rest of the franchise. Because uh, originally, the next film, Dark Knight Rises, uh, was written having uh, Heath Ledger's Joker included in the story. But it was heavily rewritten, hev- heavily reworked. Uh, I think uh, Scarecrow has a little bit part as a... Uh, uh, as a judge in this movie and that was apparently supposed to be a joker and that's one of the only scenes that made Scarecrow it from the old was, script from the new script what is the, what's the dude who's playing Scarecrow uh, Killian Murphy He's supposed to be Batman well he's not supposed to be yeah they, uh, he auditioned there's screen tests of him and Christian Bailey it was, they was the last two yeah, that's right he he was a uh, uh, they went with the right one trust me I saw the screen test the other day bad <laughs> yeah he's definitely uh hmm not everybody can be Batman. It's, it's, it's no, interesting. No, not everybody can be you, Batman because you got to be like, you know, a stoic white man. <laughs> Nobody yeah, can do that better than fucking Welsh and British people. <laughs> uh, yeah, he, uh, Batman. I mean, tell me somebody better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, it's, it's crazy how good Christian, Christian Bale was uh, in this, especially as Bruce Wayne, because uh, you get to see. Best him. Bruce Wayne ever, right? Don't give I me would, no bullshit. I don't, don't know. Don't give me no fucking bullshit. I don't know. I, I feel like he's... How's he not the best Bruce Wayne? He's, he's probably the best. He's, all he's, three stages of Bruce Wayne. Yeah, he's the best. He's the best. It's, it's, it's hard for me to just say, like, Christian Bale is the best uh, Bruce Wayne when it's just like Christian Bale as Batman in these movies was the best Bruce Wayne because he was written that way and he acted. Uh, he had a good performance. No, but, you know but, what I mean? No, but I'm saying he's the only Bruce Wayne that you ever got to see grow up. Mm. Be the Bruce Wayne that we've seen in the cartoons, and we get to see a little bit of in the comics. Then, yeah, he's the Bruce Wayne that you get to know as like the Bruce Wayne, Bruce Wayne, Playboy, Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> what you know, what you know, about. Bruce Wayne, right? Yeah, yeah. Then he- you get to see Bruce Wayne like, hey, I'm like, you know, I'm a kind of just a recluse, Bruce Wayne. Mm. I'm just you know billionaire recluse mm-hmm. in the third movie. Yeah. You get to see Bruce Wayne grow up with Christian Bale. You don't get to see that with nobody else. And that's not the fault of anybody else, but but I mean he's no, still yeah. the best Bruce Wayne. I'm yeah, not saying it's anybody else's fault or that nobody could be a better Bruce Wayne if they got an opportunity, but you didn't. <laughs> right, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it's the first it's the first time where we get three we Which, get a, we get a director and an actor getting three bites of the apple where they get a full trilogy so they can tell a full story for Bruce Wayne. And I liked the boldness of this movie to actually have like a, an ending for Bruce Wayne, not just like have it be like, and then Batman went on to be Batman forever. Uh, like he, like this is the end. Well, of Bruce and Wayne's that's story. why these series get the best. Like these are the best movies. I mean, these are the best ones, mm. but yeah, I, I get, to, I what was already about to say. I was just saying they're the best ones. Uh well I, I was just gonna say that like a lot of people give this movie flack, uh like the Dark Knight Rises flack. I think that I I really really like it. I I mean I, out of the three, it's not as good. But I I'm feel, just saying because I'm just saying the reason mm-hmm. it's not as good is because the villains are not as sprawled out or uh what do you call it um worked out. They're not mm-hmm. they're not worked out. We don't get to learn anything about. Talia, we don't get this. We, we Talia's character is not really even like I'm just saying. Mm. If we're gonna have the big reveal that she's Talia at the end, mm. then we should have like more of an involvement of her. She shouldn't just be some body that he's got. Yeah, like, that that's, essentially, that's kind of mm. what they made her is just some girl that Bruce mm. was dating, who happens to have a company that Bruce mm. is like trying to buy. But like at the same time, like she's just somebody. Like right. That that should have had more. They should have had more going on with that. Had Batman interact with Talia. I mean, have this weird interaction with them as him and Bruce. I mean, as, as with him as Bruce and her as her fake alias. You know, mm-hmm. like let's have that interaction where they both know who each other are, but they gotta pretend or something like that. You know, like something with more nuance than what we got. Right. But you know, like, as yeah. we always talk about, brown women. In a movie, marginalization, <laughs> television. Yeah. I think movies. that's. I think that uh, it also just like 
like they're trying to do a lot in this movie with introducing Catwoman and Talia, like two big, like historically big uh, love interests for Batman in the source material. And they're trying to like shove them both. No, I would agree with you that it was stupid to use Bat, I mean, uh, Catwoman only because if you take, if you take her out of this movie, she, Mm. there's literally nothing that changes. That's how I look. That's how I look about, that's how I look at movies. There's a few. There's a few things that change just because, like you know, the the like he told her to let the cops out at the end because he couldn't be there because he was on the other side of the town got, doing He could have got shit. your boy to do that. Uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt. I'm just Wasn't saying the, if, writing. I'm just saying writing. Writing yeah, wise, yeah. we could have just got him to do that. We could have yeah, wrote him sure. out of doing what he was doing and got him yeah, to sure. do that. I, I don't feel like it was a bad inclusion of her because like we're I did like real her. nerdy right here <laughs> in the weeds right uh, here. That's I all I'm saying. It's because we're, we're talking about we're talking about rights and rewrites right the second. But there was an, we know for an opportunity we know for a fact that there was an opportunity to make those characters flushed out a little bit more. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Sure. Yeah. I including I feel, including Joseph Gordon Levitt's character, mm-hmm. Dick Grayson, which we find out later yeah. is Dick, that is Dick Grayson. It was not even Dick Grayson. Yeah, that's the thing that irritates me about these like some of these movies <laughs> is that Christopher Nolan just like it like shit like that is like, man, have you ever picked up a comic book, man? Why did you do that? <laughs> I think that this was studio <laughs> shit. You like I said, you give uh, maybe them, you but, uh, take credit out of you give him way too much power is what I'm saying. You I gotta mean, remember <laughs> that the studio does still have power and they're like, look, if you're not gonna do another movie Okay, but then like, okay, you're, gonna I, to, I, you're gonna have to do these things that we want you to do. We I hear want this kind of ending. We want this kind of character in there. We want this and this and this. I, I I hear what you're saying, but like, it's it's like the way they did it. Like Dark Knight Rises, you know, he gets he gets, he gets he gets he gets his uh like his whatever inheritance from Bruce Wayne, and the and the woman's like, oh, you should go by your real name, Robin, not Dick, not Tim. Robin, like I mean, he's gonna be he like like the next day he's gonna be jumping off the rooftops using his legal goddamn name to fight crime. What the fuck is that shit? I hate that so much. Look, man, look, maybe that was Christopher Nolan's way of saying fuck the studio. <laughs> maybe, maybe because he's because funny. because because I feel like the entire twelve movies of Batman have the one number one problem is trying to end these motherfucking movies. All of them have basically <laughs> terrible endings to me. Oh, really? All of them. They're like yeah, actually yeah, fair enough. Terrible <laughs> fucking endings. Just fucking fair terrible enough. endings. Because I, I like I actually talked about before well, I was thinking about it before, like I don't really like the ending ending of the Dark Knight. Like yeah. after Batman uh, captures Joker. Suck. After Batman catches Joker, I I pretty much shut the movie off. <laughs> They're fucking terrible. All of the movies, all of them. They're all got bad. Endings. All the Batman movies are terrible. <laughs> no, I didn't no, say they were terrible. Was, was they all got terrible endings, man. The last ten minutes of a Batman movie is always garbage. But continue. Mm-hmm. It's hard to make an invincible, <laughs> vulnerable character be able to do something amazing after you made him do something amazing for fucking two and a half hours mm. and then now he has to do something super amazing but he's just a regular person <laughs> he's just a regular person so you got you keep ramping up the stakes but he's just a regular dude just makes it dumb makes it hard to end a story is all I'm saying mm. cause you don't wanna just like be like and then it was over mm. and then Bruce Wayne walked over here and he said hey I'm the shit <laughs> I, that I mean, kind of well, ending is not gonna. It's like I'm just saying. I'm sure it doesn't test well whenever they right. try it. Well, and I then mean, they fucking get scared of the ending, and then they fucking run and I do mean, something crazy again. I'm I, just saying. I I like the ending for this movie. Like I like actually, this is my favorite ending out of all the movies. Like, except for the, the way, way the, except for the first. You, see, you're talking about the last two minutes of the movie. No, I'm talking about you one just mentioned line. about how the Robin part it was stupid. I, and, I'm talking about one line there with the Robin thing. The, the line with Robin was that's stupid, a whole, but, I'm, but that's a whole. I mean, look, I, I, I'm just saying that I didn't. That takes like that away line. the whole. I mean, okay. I, I, I mean, like it might take you out of the whole, whole last part of the movie, but like I like the. It's way not just they, that part. I mean, like we just talked about Talia. We just talked about. All that we just talked like that's all part of the ending, and it's all, I, all not right. put together well. It's trying to rush an ending to make something big and extravagant happen. Like it's just trying to get to this. Like I know, I know what it is. They had look. This is what we're gonna want to do at the end. 
this is what we're going to do at the beginning. How do we get here? How do we get here? And they just did not do a good job of being able to get there. It's hard. Yeah, fair enough. Like yeah, I said, it's I, hard. I, if you ever I, read a I, Batman I comic, like people, it. those, I get that you it's like really, it, it's I'm really, saying. I'm just saying, Batman comics, they just keep going. Mm. There is no real ending. You just keep fucking going on and on and on. Right. So. <laughs> yeah, as, which is, yeah, which makes it like, uh, I guess, harder per se to make a, a right. an, end in, an ending and which is one of the reasons I, I like really commended the fact that he decided he was going to make like this the an ending of Bruce Wayne's story is like how if Bruce Wayne had an ending to the story what would he do and he would I, keep I, fighting he would keep fighting crime in, in, in Gotham that's why it was stupid he would keep that's a Catwoman right. thing to do Catwoman goes to Paris he stays in Gotham and fights because there's a war in Gotham that's, I, I mean, mean that's well, just fair. Fair enough. I I like the idea. If you're gonna hold Batman to Batman standards through all the movies, you gotta hold him to those Batman standards as well. Because Batman would never go to Paris on vacation because he's he's tired of doing Batman. That's just not how Bat. I mean, that's just not Batman. So that's I mean, why. I mean, I don't know. When people say that's just not Batman, you just like you said it whole... in the last podcast about killing what? people. That's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. If you're going to hold him to those standards of being Batman, he is. Then he, I mean, he would never abandon his post. That's the thing that's about the same thing. But that's that's the, that's what I'm saying about like the the boldness of choosing to make an ending for Batman's story because but, like if they're if uh, for Bruce Wayne's story because like uh, you choose to make either he dies in Gotham or he decides to have a happy life. And that's like the and the, the same thing could be saying the same make. thing could be said about the Batman and Robin in the Forever movie. Oh, the boldness to make him make it crazy and go back to being silly and being over the top. I'm just I, saying I'm, it's I'm still just, not Batman. I'm just saying it's still not Batman though. Like that, it's, it could be bold, but the fact to do it is still not Batman. Like if it's bold to make Batman a killer, it's not Batman because it's, it's uh, that's the reason uh, okay. it's bold to do it. Right, fair enough. He's not, well, fair enough. It really just ain't. Uh, but next movie is Lego Batman. You didn't even watch this one, did you? No, I didn't watch this one. <laughs> all right, we're just gonna move I don't on. I have to time Batman to watch versus... Lego Batman. We're gonna, I got right, we're just job. Gonna move on. We're just gonna <laughs> okay. We're just gonna move on to Batman vs Superman. Uh, Batman vs. I've struggled with even putting this one on the list because uh, it's not necessarily a Batman movie, but he does get more screen time than Superman does. So mm, yeah, it's more like a, just not a not a movie. <laughs> bad it's definitely not a good release. movie. Oh man, it's I was so excited you know, for this. It's movie. just as much of a Wonder Woman movie as it is a Batman <laughs> movie or as it is a fucking Superman Wonder movie. Woman has like three minutes of it's just, it's just it, all no, you, mean, you mean costume time? Because not she don't have no three minutes in the movie. It's, she has three minutes of maybe maybe you see her in a costume for maybe three minutes. Mm. She has a lot of time in that movie. Mm. And it's just bad. This is a whole bad movie. I don't even know why we had to talk about it. Oh, we had to talk about it because they made it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it was crazy. Uh, uh, I was actually really excited. It was fucking crazy, yeah, because we love, uh, what's his name? Play Superman? Uh, Henry Cavill. Yeah. That's our dude. Yeah, Henry Cavill is great. Shout out to Tudors. It's, it's weird that he's gotten such a bad... Uh, he that can. turn as Superman because uh, it's funny him and Brandon Routh were both good Superman no. and bad Superman movies. Wait, 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 Brandon Routh. Why do you think he was a good Superman? I mean, he's a good actor. Wait a minute, but why do you think he was a good Superman though? Because I mean, he's a good actor. I mean, he would be a good Superman in a good like. Why do you think he was? Because I'm just saying, I'm just curious because. Because he didn't say anything in that movie. So I'm trying to figure out what you think. I mean, Henry Cavill didn't say anything in Henry Cavill Steel. said a lot more words than... All right. I'm just We're saying. not going to talk about Brandon Brown. <laughs> I mean, that's uh, a fact, though. That, everybody okay. knows that. Okay, fine. Maybe it is. But Batman vs. Superman. Weirdest movie. <laughs> Look, Let's I'm talk about saying, that. That movie was basically Fantasia Superman. Because <laughs> it was just music <laughs> and him flying around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Batman vs. Uh, Superman... Batman vs. Superman, not too much different than the Fantasia of fucking Zack Snyder's universe. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> this is not a good movie. Also, why does Zack Snyder keep, keep, keep getting allowed to make movies? I mean, he's spending like $250 million on bad, bad <laughs> you know what? shit. You know, I think he's he got a lot of good credit from Dawn of the Dead since that movie made like so much damn money. Yeah, no, yeah, but I'm saying why you keep getting to make 
No, no, it's not. I'm not saying. Okay, yeah, you gave him that. You gave mm. him this movie. Okay, you gave him that. Gave him the movie. What about the next movie? Because <laughs> that movie was oh, bad. Oh yeah, and then well, actually, yeah, he because he keeps making hits. He had right. fucking uh, Dawn not of the hits. Dead and he well, keeps making more movies. Dawn of the Dead and 300 were huge hits, and that's bef- that's before this. I think that that's what get got. Yeah, no, I'm kid. saying now. I'm not talking about then. You forgetting 300 is almost 20 years ago. I'm talking about. Now, why does he keep getting movies, getting opportunity to produce? He's producing a lot of these DC films. That's what people don't understand. Like, people are like, bring Zack Snyder back. Bring Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder and his wife are producing mm-hmm. a lot of these garbage dumpsters that we're watching right now. Mm-hmm. So, relax on that. Like, Wonder Woman 2, the second Wonder Woman, mm-hmm. fucking garbage. Oh, my God. Yeah, so Wonder bad. Woman 84 was terrible. So, so I'm just saying... How does Zack Snyder keep getting allowed to do these? Because Batman's versus Superman was so bad. How could there yeah. be a Justice League? Because mm-hmm. Batman's versus Superman was so bad. I mean, the fan. There's a lot of fans of Batman versus Superman. It feels like really. The, I mean, yeah, obviously. Like there's so many. Snyder, oh, those must yeah. be the same people who are fans of like all those. Yeah, Fast like and all the people, movies. all the people who were like released the Snyder cut. Those are the. No, I'm talking about. Don't know. This Fast and Furious fans. Sure, <laughs> they he's might got, be the same people. He's got to be the same people. Uh, but uh, this yeah, is so stupid. Yeah, like all the, all the people. Who, yeah, the, there's a, there's a lot of there's a big fandom out there for the Batman versus Superman Zack Snyder movies. So uh, fuck them. Get them out of here. Who's sure. Next? All right. Next thing, the Batman. The Batman. What did you think? Of this I didn't movie? know the Batman was next. Actually, you know what? I'm not keeping count. I wasn't looking. <laughs> at, I'm not looking at my phone. Yeah, because it's on the charger. So I was like. <laughs> Uh, what, I was like, what is next? But the Batman. Hey, way man, wow. So glad we got back to a good movie. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, we just talked about this one. Uh, uh great but, movie. Yes, great movie. Uh, um, really like Robert the Pattinson game. was good. Yeah, yeah, tiny, tiny human being. You, you could have been Batman. <laughs> You're in the shape. You're in better shape than Robert Pattinson for sure. I I'm in the same shape. I appreciate I'm that. in the That's same the nice shape. Nice thing that you ever Pat- said about me. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the same shape as Robert Pattinson. You're in better shape than Robert Pattinson. You could have been yeah. Batman. I could have been Robin. Or I could have been your villain, one of the Rose Gallery. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I heard somebody say that he looked more like Arthur Fleck, uh, Arthur which Fleck. is the, that was the character in the Joker movie uh, that Joaquin oh, Phoenix played. So for her, hold on. So, for, so excuse me. Don't ever in your life talk to me about that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you ever in your life talk to me about anything in that movie. Is that it? <laughs> That's all you wanted to say? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, but yeah, the Batman, uh, the movie was great. Uh, I, I've i watched it three times now. Oh, you watched uh, it three times? Yeah, I watched it again with my buddy Eric uh, from work. Uh, and yeah, that movie, still great. Still loved it. Uh, but did you notice all those inconsistencies? Did they actually say Falcone and Falcone? Oh, yeah. They, they definitely said Falcone and Falcone and Maroni and Marone. They just made, Get the fuck yeah. out of here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, the old Sal, Sal Maroni case or the Sal Marone case. Dude, we got to <laughs> take this part and isolate this and make a goddamn video. Because I'm trying to tell you, nobody else is talking about this. We are the only ones talking about how they're talking. I didn't hear they one said, other podcaster say that uh, somebody said. I don't remember. Falcone, look, I'm Falcone talking about the thing. big dogs. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> the new rock stars. Y'all ain't said it. Mm. Motherfucking heavy spoilers. Y'all ain't said it. Emergency awesome. Y'all ain't said it. We have. We are the only people who are either willing to criticize them. Maybe they just didn't notice it. Or movie. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Or they noticed it. Yeah. They didn't notice it. That's what I'm saying. We're the only ones who noticing it, or we're the only ones willing to criticize it. Either way, we're the only ones talking about it. Only ones. That's why you got to come right here, baby. Drunk <laughs> Banthas, baby. Uh, how do you? Uh, I, I mean, yeah. There's not much more that I want to say about this movie about how much I like it, <laughs> other than I still really, really like it. And I was I, gonna say, did you notice any other time. inconsistencies? Since you've already talked about how much you like it, how, let's talk about something that, that you don't like about it. Uh, like I mean, what? I noticed that like the pacing. I mean, like I, though I love the the slow pacing. You could probably cut like maybe fifteen minutes out of it, just not cutting like whole scenes out. Uh, I feel like being you could you, definitely edit this movie down to where it doesn't include so much. But there, I did notice something else. Mm. 
that I forgot about that I forgot to say on the sh- show last time is like when they were looking at the photos, like why didn't Batman notice that the photos were from the same angle? Wait, of, which uh, photos? The photos of the mayor with the girl. Mm-hmm. Oh, How come right, he didn't right. notice that those photos came from? Why didn't he even go to that apartment? Why would he not even go to investigate which angles that came from? That's true. Because yeah, the later he ends point. up having to go up there anyway. That's a good point. Yeah. Speaking to our point of him being a bad detective at this point. <laughs> yeah. And also speaking to the point that they had to show certain things to give us little tidbits. So yeah. Maybe it's, there's it's, other things a- that you may notice if you keep going back and watching it. Maybe mm. there's that. But there's a lot of stuff we could have gotten rid of. Yeah, and a lot of people have been like uh, harping or like ragging on like how the riddles aren't that hard to solve. They weren't supposed. That's a great. That's the best part about it. Yeah, like the riddles riddles aren't are never hard. Yeah, (laughs) Uh, and like yeah, I love that he just like kind of breezes by them, and like we're not gonna spend like thirty minutes of the movie on a fucking one one fucking riddle. But you kind of do because he has to go back to other things. The Falcon, Falcon, the El Fal, was it El? Right, yes. El, uh, what the fuck? Yeah, El Rodolada. El Rodolada. They go back to... So yeah. for for all you fucking idiots out there who think that it wasn't no riddles that was hard, yeah, they had one riddle that yeah. got solved three, three times. times. Yeah. So And they were wrong two times. So that means that there was a fucking riddle that was really fucking hard. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yeah, you don't was- fucking solve riddles. <laughs> you weren't in there fucking solving the riddles. You didn't know what the fuck it was before Batman. Shut the yeah, fuck up. I heard some one podcaster say, this, like, I solved that justice. Uh, uh, riddle is uh, like immediately after they said it's like that one was in the trailer. Yeah, that's why. That's why you. That's why you <laughs> that's solved it because you looked it up. You, it you looked it up forty two <laughs> days before the fucking movie came out. You fucking ass hat. <laughs> and I didn't even. I didn't watch the trailer I'm, until I'm after glad the movie you're not gonna out. say who that was. <laughs> I didn't watch the trailer until after the movie came out. So I, like I was sitting at home watching the trailer. Like, I was like, wait, what? What are you supposed to say? talking about? <laughs> um, but yeah, this movie was incredible. Uh, yeah, I loved it. Anyway, should we get into our list? I think you should just do your list. Uh, uh, yeah, you don't want to do your list. I mean, it's just gonna be too much time. Just, just do your list. No, just no, do no, your no. list. You do right, your I list. Mean, your list is gonna be very different from mine. And you're just gonna make fun of mine the whole time. <laughs> exactly. I feel like that takes up enough time anyway. <laughs> all right. Anyway. Well. All right. Fine. Uh, I don't give a fuck what you think anyway. <laughs> I don't care what you people think. <laughs> these are my Batman favorite movies. I understand that, like, these aren't, like, all, like, whatever. Like, they're not the best. Uh, oh, man, let's tell the people what you think. But uh, these like, are all my don't favorite. Don't say you don't care what people think and then say, these aren't the best. No, you don't no, care what people think. No. <laughs> Stay on that. Stand up with your dick out. But please don't pull your dick out. Put, sit back down. <laughs> sit back down. Don't pull your dick. I was just a joke. <laughs> So my uh, my favorite movie started with the, or yeah like in l- order of worst to best for me uh, Batman versus number Superman. twelve number twelve is Batman versus Superman uh, number eleven Lego Batman though I had fun with it it's just a kids movie it's so not like I like it's animated just, movies much as the next guy but it it's just probably a kids be movie. number twelve it should probably be number twelve but you know. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's just at least at least the it's it, it does have a good script and it has a good arc for no, the, I feel for you know, all the hate. It's Zack just, Snyder, it's just it's go written fuck way- yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just yeah. I mean, it's just written hey, way better than I, I, feel I, you. I think Zack Snyder is like a great person and he makes great movies, but he has no I don't know him. idea. How I to have no that. idea who he is as a person, and so. I cannot, ju- oh. I cannot judge any of that. I can only right, judge him by his I'm work. I'm saying that I... I'm saying you said that. I'm trying to help the podcast. I'm trying to make sure. <laughs> Look, nigga, what if he comes out, he done raped 15 kids <laughs> later? We done said he's a good person. Look, uh, then I'm, they'll throw me in jail. No, I'm just <laughs> saying we just go... Look, I'm not trying, I'm trying to keep us from getting canceled 15 <laughs> years, years later. You just, I'm just trying to cover our bases. That's okay. all I'm saying. We don't know him. We're not affiliated with him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, unless he want to give us some money. any of his checks. Exactly. Unless, um, he wanna, unless he want to give us some money. <laughs> uh, number 10, Batman and Robin. Batman uh, and Robin. Again, I really wrestled with this because fucking I really... You really like the movie. I really That's like really, watching it, but I, I really say, don't you like, really it. like it. You, you really like the movie, don't No, we? I really like watching it. I really <laughs> don't like this movie. <laughs> it's he really movie, not good. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. Um... Alicia Number- Silverstone. That's the reason he likes it. What? I was- no. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm Jesus just, Christ! No. I'm just throwing grenades in here at this point. <laughs> um. Anyway, I don't even. Yeah. Anyway, uh, number nine, Batman eighty nine. Nah, eighty nine, eighty nine. Uh, number eight. Uh, uh, number eight, Batman Forever. Yeah, that's 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 right. That's right. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. What? Then it should have probably been behind Batman hey, 89. You had your chance to make your list. <laughs> no, I, I was just saying, I was just saying, like, which one? I mean, like. This is the list now. I'm saying, like, people are probably like. People, you will comply. People, no, I'm just saying that people are probably like, okay. Hey, I mean, every, yeah, like, I I just really, yeah, for whatever reason. I mean, you the one who came with the gusto. Everybody else is probably just like, okay, like, uh, <laughs> it's okay for to put that there. I was like, oh, all right. For whatever reason, yeah, Batman Forever, I just, uh, it, it holds up better for me. It's um, still not a good movie. That's why it's at number eight. <laughs> hey, um, Batman Batman Begins is at number seven. Again, love this movie, love the story. Do you really care about fucking killing or attempted killing or acts leaving him to die of Ra's al Ghul that much? No, I care about the terrible fight scenes that much. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> No, no, honestly, like the story is incredible. Uh, I, I, again, I really like the 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 way it was written, uh, but the fight scenes are just like they was the really... first time they was bringing back a fucking ter- like go watch the fight scenes from Batman eighty nine and then go watch the fight ba- the fight. At least scenes I can from... see everything in Batman eighty nine and Batman eighty nine is lower the... than this. <laughs> So, oh my God! Is the reason that it's that's the, the reason? And so you bad. had your chance oh, to make a list. I'm so. not making a list. I'm the, uh, I mean, no. you can keep saying that every time. That won't make your list less shitty. <laughs> Look, uh, I haven't even criticized hey, those your list. Who cannot I vote, was just asking. I was just not talk. vote cannot or whatever. No, what I, see, about people I voted. Vote. I just first of all, I wasn't criticizing your list. I asked a question, and see. You sensitive, so that's why I get to tell you right now that your list is garbage. <laughs> well, I don't like so your continue. list either. Uh, number six, Mask of the Phantasm. Uh, again, really like this story. I already said everything Everything I liked about this movie. Yep, and I uh, already said all of the things that I don't. <laughs> uh, number five, Dark Knight Rises. Uh, thought, again, I don't know why this movie gets so much hate. I really, really like it. Uh... Dark uh, number four. Well, Batman no, you re- know it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know we just talked. You know why they get so much hate. I just told you why I get so much hate, man. And I just told you why. I don't know why I get so much hate for those reasons. We disagreed on this. We already went through this. this number bad, four. Batman bad Returns. Endings. Oh my God, Batman for number four. No, Batman we re- agreed on that. All of them have bad endings. We just agreed on that. I, no, we didn't. We we fundamentally disagree because I liked the bat, the ending of Batman Dark uh, the Dark Dark Knight Rises, and you said that you hated it. Uh, that's yeah. just, just like, how that went. You just like the one Catwoman. You just always want to see Catwoman come come to come with Batman. Why do you think that I'm obsessed with all the women in these movies? Uh, number hey, five, Dark Knight Rises. I'm sure number that everybody four, sees Batman the Returns. Uh, because as one of my favorite one of my favorite Christmas movies ever, Batman Returns. Number three, The Dark Knight. Doesn't have nothing to do with the women in it. Because these, these, this, this is trending in, in this direction. I'm just saying, you the one who just tried to say it like it didn't have nothing to do with the women. But let's just look at the trajectory of these of this list <laughs> and, and, and say it doesn't have anything to do with women. Continue with your list. Number five, Dark Knight. Yes, there are women in all these movies. Okay, uh, the, saying, number three, The Dark Knight. Number two, Batman sixty six, because I love that movie. And yeah, number one, The Batman for me right now. I, I, hey, you know, I, I, who knows? I might in five years, I might completely change it. But Hasn't, right now, uh, yeah, I'm like super hyped on this movie, and I it's my favorite Batman movie. Just out of curiosity, what is like your favorite? Of all the Batman movies. Oh, man. My favorite is The Dark Knight Rises. I already said that in the podcast. Favorite is Dark Knight Rises. Dark Knight Rises or Dark Knight? It was Dark I mean, Knight no, Rises? no. Dark Knight. Yeah, Dark okay. Knight. Dark Knight Rises has a stupid ending. Dark Knight has a great ending because they didn't actually... They knew they were going to do another one. Like, they knew they were going to do another one. And they didn't have to, like, end it because they're going to go do another one. Mm. Nothing has to really end. You know what I'm saying that's what that's what Batman needs. Batman has to make sure that they don't ever actually end it. Leave everything open ended. Then the next motherfucker that's his problem, or it's his benefit because then he can do what he wants to do in the next movie. You know what I'm saying? Like keep it pushing. 
But it also keeps you from being held responsible for making a shitty ending. You know what I mean? Like, just let Batman be Batman. Batman don't have to end. It doesn't end. Batman always continues. That's a fact. It's just what happens in the comic books. And where are we getting this source material from? Oh, yeah. Comic books. He's the best comic book movie character so far. Spider-Man's working his way up there. He's had a bunch of shitty ones, Spider-Man. But he's got a fucking bunch of good ones coming up now. Right? So, Batman... Mm -hmm. Let's do better. <laughs> but, and, and Batman's on his way to doing better. Right? Yeah. Superman sucks. You know what I'm saying? Like, Flash can't get out of the water. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> people are people are scared of Superman. Uh, man, please give somebody. Bryce Dallas Howard, Brad Bird, give give one of them give one of them a Superman movie. They can make a Superman movie. Jody Hill. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Jody um, Hill could make a good like fucking Deadpool movie or something. I don't know. Jody about. Hill, Jody, I think Jody Hill could make an amazing Superman movie because you know what? He would just do it. He wouldn't try to think about should we pay Cavill all this money or right? like just do it. This is all the things that we're talking about. The reason that there hasn't been a Superman movie made is because of the fucking bureaucracy. Mm. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, there's a guy at Warner Brothers who hates comics. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Warner Brothers is all fucked up. Who is but, this uh, guy who got beat up by comic book nerds and now he hates comic books? <laughs> I just don't understand. Like he, something happened. Either that or he beat the shit out of comic book nerds and now he just still doesn't understand. Well, he doesn't look like he beat out of it. Beat, beat, beat much of anything other than his meat. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, uh, yeah, hey, hey, y'all know how we leave you. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Drunk Panthers Podcast. We do this every once in a while. So go ahead and leave a like and subscribe so you can get updates on new episodes of the pod and new video essays from yours truly. Check us out on Twitter, IG, TikTok, all the internet things at Drunk Panthers. Until next time, stay safe, my little bat mites, and may the force be with you.